two sentences should have a relation in meaning. Okay, this is the semicolon. So now we are able to compare between the relation between the uh, semicolon and the comma. Did you hear the word inverted commas before? Inverted comma. Yes. Huh? What is the inverted comma? the quotation marks yes exactly the inverted commas ya shabab are the quotation marks all of you know the quotation marks yes okay yeah huh? say if you know the quotation mark yes i know them yeah yosef you know lujain you know the quotation marks right yeah yeah all right so the quotation marks again are the same as the inverted commas. When do I use the quotation mark? Huh? Tell me. When I use the quotation mark. In direct mark. speech? Yes, in direct speech. Who can give an example? Abdu, can you give an example? Like, what do you mean by direct speech? Or what do you mean by a quotation? Around it, we should use... Um, a quotation mark or in inverted comma. You know, yeah, Abdu. Sir, I'm not sure, but Nasser, yes. What's your example? I am playing football, mm -hmm. and then the semicolon. And then, uh, yeah, with my friend. I'm not asking about the semicolon. I'm asking about the inverted commas, the quotation marks. Hmm. Thank you. Hi, Lujain. Sir, I cannot see you. What did you say? I said you have an example for the quotation marks. Yes. Okay. Uh, uh, quotation marks. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, 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 I explain what is it or uh, an, an direct speech example? No, no, give example, yes. Give example. Okay. Um, inver uh, inverted commas. I, mm. I like... Um, uh, I like uh, reading books, inverted commas, mm -hmm. she said. Exactly, that's it. A quotation, quotation marks, a shabab, means a sentence between two quotation marks, okay? And all with this kind of sentences include the word said or words similar to said, like my dad said. The sentence after said will be what? Between the inverted commas. Inverted. You got it now? Yes. Okay. So, Lujain said, Sir. If I said, my teacher said. Hmm? Sir, I have an example for a quotation marks. Okay. Uh, who is that? Abdullah? Abdu. Abdu, yes, okay. John thinks, uh, sorry, yeah. John thinks that his brother, his hmm. brother is a great boy. Okay. Where is the sentence that somebody said that must be put between? Yeah, huh? yeah Mr. Said Ahmed. Yes, correct. So you must say that somebody said, and after you say somebody said, the sentence that's being said will be put between two inverted commas. Clear, inshallah, shabab? Clear the inverted commas? Yes. yes.
Okay, that's nice. Okay. Uh, what is the next part? So now we finished inverted comma, question mark, exclamation, commas, and semicolon, apostrophe, yes, speech marks. Here is the speech mark. Look at this example here. Like speech marks is the same meaning as inverted commas, is the same meaning as quotation marks. Okay? Like um, they are placed around the speech or quotes. And slang. Slang means expressions. So between ex expressions also will be placed between inverted commas or speech marks. Look at this example. David said, this is what I meant. That somebody said something. My hat is green. The sentence here that's being said by somebody must be placed between... Two inverted commas. Don't forget that, please. And don't forget to use a comma before the quotation. Before the inverted commas. So look again at the rule here. Okay. Here it is. Comma. After the word said. Here it is a comma. And this is the inverted commas. So look at this example. If I said... My teacher shouted, comma, be before the quotation marks, stop talking, oh. So what I used here, always don't forget to use comma before the quotation mark. I hope it's clear. Use a comma before a quotation. Don't forget again and again. Huh? Use what, uh, Abdullah Muhammad? Use what before the quotation? Uh, uh, the question mark. I mean the exclam exclamation mark. I said before the quotation. Are you concentrating? Yes, sir. I said... Mama. What I use before the quotation. Huh? This is the quotation. Comma, comma exactly. This oh. is the quotation. Inverted commas. And what's between them? This is quotation. And these two marks are quotation marks. Okay? Before the quotation, use a comma. Hi, Elujain. Before the quotation, use what? A comma. Exactly. I hope the rule is clear. You have from now three minute break, then get back to me. Three minute break. Okay. Did you hear me? Yeah. Okay. You have now three minute break.
Okay, we're back. Are you there? Yes, Hello? Yes? Hello, sir. Yes, Yusuf is here. Yes, I'm Yusuf. Abdul? I'm here. Hello, Jane. Hello, Jane. I'm here. Okay, Abdullah Ahmed. I'm here, sir. Yes, safe. Safe. Yes, Mr. Okay. You know the difference between active and passive? Do you know the difference? What do you mean by active and passive? Hmm. Sorry? What I, don't I mean? Remember it. Ah, no, don't remember. Okay, I'll give you an example. Then you will notice the difference. Look at this sentence. Mom cleaned the room. And the room was cleaned by mom. The two sentences have the same meaning. One of them is active and one of them is passive. Can you tell me the difference which one is which? The first one is passive, the, next, yes. uh, the wait. second one is active. Wait, wait. Mom cleaned, mom cleaned the room. This is active or passive? Mm. Mom cleaned the passive. room. Active or passive? Others, what do you think? Active. Active, what do you think, Shabab? Again, who agreed that it's active? Hmm. Who agreed that it's active? None. Me. Okay, how many? If I said. Sorry, me, me. Okay, thank you. Yes. My mom cleans the room. And the room. What is cleaned by mom? Here are two sentences. Any sentence that says that someone does something. Someone does something. Someone, here is mom, does, clears, cleans something, the room. So someone is doing or does something. All sentences that have the same meaning or the same structures are active sentences. Active sentences. Look at the second sentence. The room is being cleaned by mom. It means something is being done. The meaning of the sentence is the room, this is something, is cleaned, is being done. Okay? I don't care here about who does the action, which is my mom. If I said the room is cleaned, the meaning is correct. Okay? This kind of sentences is passive sentence so again if a sentence says that someone is doing something so now the sentence is what active and if i said that something is being done so the sentence is passive so let me ask lujain now if i said dad phoned my brother active or passive Active. Correct. Abdu. My brother fixed the computer. Active. Excellent. Abdullah Muhammad.
the computer was being fixed. Abdullah Muhammad. Yes, sir. The computer is being fixed. Active or passive? Uh, passive. Correct. Abdullah Ahmed. My phone is being formatted. Passive. Thank you. Safe. Safe. Yes. The light will be turned off. Uh, passive. Passive. Thank you. Yusuf, did I ask you? Yusuf, your mic is not working. Can you hear me now? Yes. If I said, the teacher explained the lesson, active or passive? Active. Sorry? Active. Yeah, yes, correct. Now you understand the difference in structure and meaning of active and passive sentences. We want to change sentences from active to passive. We want to change sentences from active to passive. Look at the sentence and how it was being changed. Mom cleaned the room. Look at the change. The room was cleaned. Here, mom is a subject. Cleaned is a verb. And the room is what? The object. Look at the passive sentence. We started by what, Shabab? The room, which is what? The object. So always start with the object. Then you will always use verb to be. Then you will use the verb in the third form or past participle or verb three you know that any english verb has three forms like go went gone gone is verb three do dead done done is verb three or past participle wash washed 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 is verb three so again, if I want to change a sentence from active to passive, always start with what, Ya Yusuf? With the object of the sentence. Object of the sentence. Then follow the object by what? Verb to be. Then after verb to be, you will use always verb three. Verb three is always fixed rule in the passive. Okay? Let's take this sentence. Okay. Today, we will study only the present forms, not to be confused. So the rules we are going to study now is what? Changing active to passive in the present form. Okay? In the present uh. form. Number one, we have three present... Sir. Yes? Sir, when are yes. we going to finish the lesson? When I finish my exercise. When are we going to finish the last? Actually, I don't know. This is present simple. And this is present continuous. And this is present perfect. So how many tenses we have today? Hmm? Three. The three are present. Present simple. Present continuous and present perfect. Let's see how we will change from active to passive. Any one of you can give me an example of present simple sentence, like dad fixes the phone. This is what? Fixes is present simple. 
who can change it to passive let's start with the object which is the phone so say the phone look at the verb it's very important now to focus on this part the phone is fixed full stop what I used is so the rule is object followed by am or is or are followed by verb 3 let's take another example if I said mom washes the dishes where is the object here huh or the answer is the dishes or yeah, the, the object the object is what the dishes. dishes yes so say the dishes huh we will use after the object am or is or are the dishes is or are are then verb three from the verb of the sentence what is verb three from the word wash washed full stop i finished huh the rule is clear and how i change the sentence is clear any question shabab this this sentence is clear Hello? Yes, sir. You hear me properly? Yes, it's clear. Yes. All, it's for all it's clear. Please reply once I say it's clear or no. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. So this is the first rule. If a sentence is in the present continuous, present continuous, it means the verb is like this in the active dad is fixing the phone okay dad is fixing the phone is fixing this is present continuous i want to change the sentence now into passive again start with the object which is the the phone phone huh am or is the same as we did in the present simple the present continuous is the same as the present simple with just simple difference so is here is is fixed this is verb three i just add the word being so if the sentence is in the present continuous do the same as the present simple but just add what the word being so the rule is start with the object oh, am. Sir. mute your mic please until i finish am or is or are will be followed by what being then will be followed by verb three another example mom wash the dishes mom is washing the dishes okay change start with the object which is the dishes so the dishes am or is or are are huh after am is are we said use what being are being being verb three from wash washed so what is the rule washed. again the washed. rule again is object Object am or plus is M or, or, or are being plus verb being three plus verb three. Yes, correct. What's your question now? Okay. Yes, Mister. Mister, I just wanted to ask. Yeah. Okay. Uh, when you see the this in this example, that is fixing the phone. Mm -hmm. And then to the uh, to the present continue to put it, the phone is uh, being fixed. Yes. So right. don't won't we have to write that? So, fixed by that. 
by 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 that you mean yeah this is optional so i didn't mention okay it thanks is is being fixed or are being washed but look here we said only is fixed and are washed these are the two rules for present and past now i want you to convert from one to six into passive from one to six no no sorry answer only now number one and number four only change number one and there change is the task yes send it on whatsapp or here in the chat box change into passive it means you will change sentence one and sentence what is about sentence four, four. clear clear mister again change from what to what passive or active they are active change them to passive here is written on the board change into passive form okay sorry okay hi uh, shabab all of you knows what are we doing now abdullah you know abdullah lujain safe yusuf abdu yusuf yeah you all of you know yes, what I know now. okay all of you knows what is it yes yes mr could you just and if you know if you don't have a problem Monsieur, could you just you know, do this for you know, one of the questions that you didn't give it give it to us at the task? So you know, we'll not, we'll we'll get we'll get how to, how will we do it? I can get you. Say again. What do you want now? So, Mister, could you if you, if you don't have so Mr., if you don't have a problem with it, could you just do for us one question that you didn't give it to us as a task? So we will know um. we know the idea. The same rule, Ya Abdullah, the same rule I explained. There is no difference. You will follow the rule. Here is the rule, Ya Abdullah. You will do the same as I did here. What is the rule? If the sentence in present symbol, this is the rule. You will find the object. Then you will use oh, yeah. am, is, are. Oh, yeah. Then verb three. If the sentence in present continuous, you will follow this rule. Find the object. Sir, then can use. you get back the sentence? He, okay take a screenshot for the rules okay take a screenshot you may need it and i'll send it in the, the chat box to have a look Thank at you. it here are the sentence i'll do number two let's do number two together okay number two the artificial needs... artificial oh, no. artificial intelligence algorithm processes this is the verb of present symbol so this sentence is in what kind of present? Present symbol. Okay. Vast amounts of data. This one is the object. Because what the artificial intelligence processes? The vast amount of data. So you will say the vast amounts of data is we said the rule after the object am is are then verb three of the verb of the sentence verb three so is processed only you finished if you want to say by the artificial intelligence okay it's optional by the artificial intelligence algorithm this is the first sentence which is number two and let's do number five. In number five, the environmental scientist, yes. this is the subject, is documenting. This is the verb, and this is present continuous. Where is the object climate change effects? So what should I start with? Climate change effects. So say the climate change effects or the sentence is present continuous so follow the rule of present continuous what is the rule 
am or is or are, then being, then will be documented by who? Oh, I answered number four. By the environmental by the scientists. Mister, can I go to the toilet real quick? Yes, quickly. Go. Okay, Shabab, I now change it to sentences. I hope they are clear. I'm waiting for you. Okay, Abdullah Saleh send. Some topic particles are examined. Okay, the effects of climate change. Well, Abdullah is okay. Thank you. Abdullah finished. Are we doing the Mr. I sent it to you. Okay. Who sent here or on WhatsApp? Sir, I, I send it to you in privately in chat. Ah, okay. Correct. Okay, thank you, Ya yeah, Abdullah. So Abdullah and Abdullah finished. Who else? Sir, are we gonna do anything else? Yes, we still. The third rule, then we will finish. This is the last rule, inshallah. Guys, quickly, please. They are only two sentences. Hello? Lujain, you finished? Are we gonna solve uh, until question six? No. Mr. Uh, you, you, will answer only, you will answer only Mr. number Mr. one Mr. and number four. And four? One and I four. On the... Number one and four only. Okay, thank you. So I sent it to you now. I, who is that? Yes, Yosef. Thank you. Waiting for others quickly, please. Yeah, Yosef. Hi, hey, Shabab, Don. Yes, Mr. Nama, I'm right in the chat. Yeah, I see. Abdullah and Abdullah and Yusuf are done. We're waiting for... No, Mr. I'm Abdul. Uh, you, you send here in the chat? Still, I'm writing it. Quickly, please. Yalla, you're safe.
طبعا هو واحد طلع Number one is incorrect. The sentence is present simple. So follow the rule of present simple. يلا يا سيف يو ديدنت انديرستاند ويتش وان يو مين ذا سنتنس ذا كوانتم فيزيست اكزامينز ذا سب اتوميك بارتيكلز Uh, you can, it means you can do number four. Okay. You can do number two. Okay. You can do number three. Don't say, okay, tell me I can or I can't. Okay, I can. Number three and number four. Okay. Okay. So, number three. And number four, quickly, please. عبدو yes, both are incorrect I didn't use was <clears throat> I did I didn't use was or were today I never used it and number two you didn't follow the rules I explained You just you just wrote away from what I said. Shabab, you must follow the rules to answer correctly. If you know the rule, you will know how to change the sentence. If you don't know the rule, you will not change the sentence. So what is the rule again? Look at the sentence. We said, here are the rules. Did you take a screenshot from the rules? Hi, Shabab. Here are the rules. <clears throat> okay. Hello? You hear me? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. I said, I said, here are the rules in the screen. The rule said is fixed. Where is is in your answer? Where is are in your answer? It's not. You said was or were. So you didn't follow my rule. Samani Abdu? Yes. Okay. Again, the, the rule says here is the rule. Am. 
object number one, then am, is, are, then verb three. So search for these elements. Where is the object? The object always comes after the verb. So find the verb, then the object comes after. Clear, Abdu? Yes. However, I answered two examples, one and four. And also you didn't follow the rule. You must follow the rule. Ashbab, Saif didn't send. Abdu. Yes, miss. Try again quickly, please. Okay. Yalla, Saif. Mr. could you please go down? Lujain, wa Abdullah, wa Abdullah, you can leave. Thank you. Mr. Mr. could you please go down? Mr. could he? Bye, sir. Only Lujain, Abdullah, Abdullah, Yusuf can leave. Yeah. Abdullah, Abdullah, Yusuf, Lujain. Thanks. Hmm. What's your question? Mr. could you please go down? Go down? Yes, to the example. To the example? Yeah. Those you mean? No, Mr. The examples. Question number one and four. Yes, here it is on the screen. So the screen is locked on the semicolon. Ah, okay, so wait. Maybe lagging. I'll send them to the group, okay? Okay. I send them to the group. Go to the group and check the sentences. Yalla, save quickly, please. I'm the last one. Okay. By the way, there are only two. Sir, yes. Uh, the sentence are uh, are uh, I can't understand it. So, what? Which one? It's difficult. The fourth and third. 